All right, what is going on, everybody? So uh, hopefully my audio is good. I have a new microphone, so hopefully the audio stays good. Um, all right, so today's going to be fun. Today's probably going to be long, and uh, today's going to be very different for me. So we can go quickly into what today's going to be. It's an SPD, which is squat bench deadlift. You're not a powerlifter. Um, it's a secondary SPD, so it means I'm not doing, like, my primary lifts for anything, which I'll explain in a sec, and I have accessories after. Um, so, a few things before I talk about what I'm doing. I've done SPD three times my whole life. Once, during the taper for my mock meet. Two, my mock meet. <clears throat> and three, a few weeks ago when I missed that day working out, and I did SPD instead of my normal day. Aside from those three days, I've never done SPD in my life. So, SPD, I have SPD probably for the next six weeks before my meet, which is good, uh, just to get me accustomed to it a little bit, and just like, fatigue is a little different when you do SPD, because you're doing major lifts, and these are light today, which I'll also explain, but in general, it's good to get some SPD under your belt, just because... I haven't done it a lot, so that should be good. Um, okay, most importantly, what am I doing today? I believe I have Larson as my my bench. I think I have a top set of three Larson. I could be wrong. Um, and then I have, pa or sorry, I have pause squats. I believe. Okay, so I think I have a single tempo squat, so a two second tempo, no pause on the bottom, just a two second tempo. And I need to be strict about that tempo, like really strict about that tempo. Then I have Larson, or sorry, so I have a two second tempo, then I have pause squats, then I have Larson, and then I have sumo deadlift. So as you guys know, if you've been watching the channel for a while, I pull conventional right now. Now, if you used to watch the channel a long time ago, I used to pull sumo. Um, so we're going to make that sumo way better, and we're going to see which is my actual better form. My leverages low-key could work for both. Um, now that I've like, looked at it, it could work for both. So we'll see. Um, but I don't know. I'm kind of excited to pull sumo. I feel like sumo might be better for me. I don't know why. I just feel like conventional is very, like, hamstring. Like, you have to get your hamstring tight, or you have to feel a squeeze in your hamstring or a stretch, and then you get into position. Whereas in, like, so that, like, for me, it's, like, low-key a different position every time I lift, I feel like, even if it's not. For sumo, I feel like it's very, it's a lot more consistent, because you just, like, you find where you place your feet in the same exact spot every time, and then you get into the right position, and you just hinge, and you slack pull really hard in sumo, and then you just pull. So, we'll see how it goes. I haven't pulled sumo in, like, I think six months, so... It might not be the prettiest thing today, but I'm not expecting it to be the prettiest thing today. I just want to see how it feels, how it looks, if I can get it better, and how my leverages look for sumo. Um, other thing, this gym is far away. It's about 35 minutes from here. So I put some ice in my pre, which hopefully helps stay cold, because last time it was not cold. Um, yeah, but we're going to Boynton Barbell today. Um... Ev Realm is this kid's Instagram, who one of the kids that might be there today. I'm sure you guys know him. He pulled uh, he pulled 750 at the meet I was at, um, which is crazy. So I don't actually know his last name. I just know his coach is Evan Hawk. Um, and his Instagram is Evan Realm. I don't know what his actual name is. I always forget, but he might be there today, so that could be cool for me to talk to him a little bit. Um. I'm wearing a singlet, but I don't know if you guys can tell, you can't, but I'm wearing a singlet for the first time since my mock meet as well, which is pretty cool. Um, so you guys can see my squat depth is not questionable and all that shit in a singlet. My bench, my ass stays on as long. I don't know if I just have Larson today or I have a tempo also. I got to look. I think I just have Larson today. So my ass pretty much has to be on the bench or I'm like floating, but it's fine. Hopefully the, oh, we're going to make sure everything looks really good today because I'm in a singlet. So you can see like exactly how it will look during comp day, which is good. Um, and yeah, we'll see how everything goes. 
I'm excited. Everything is like RP five or six today, so it's gonna be really light. Um, and the way I have my dead set up, which is like not me, the way my coach has my dead set up is my I have a top set of three at five, and then I have another top set of three at six right after, and then I have back downs. So um, I don't really know how it's gonna work, but he was like, if you if your first top set of five is actually at four, it's fine. Just make sure your second set at six, so like the jump. So that's that's interesting to me because I've never done that before. But that means I'll probably have like almost no no warm ups for deads. Um, and I'll pretty much have one warm up for bench probably because Larson. So it's gonna be pretty light. I don't really know my weights today at all. It's kind of the like iffy for me because I've never done a two second tempo squat with no pause. I've only done three three one squat tempos. So today I have a two zero zero tempo for squat. So I've never done that, and I've never done a single. I've always had like five reps. Pause squats the same. I've always had like five reps. I've never had like a heavy pause squat. Um, also, I'm wearing inzers today, so that should help me a lot. Um, Larson, I've never had like heavy Larson. Like I've only ever had back downs of Larson after my tempo bench on days. I've never had like just Larson by itself as a heavy day. Like, I have Larson two to three days in this program, I believe. Um, my coach really likes Larson. It's actually been really working out for me so far. So, we have a lot of Larson. And I've never done that for top, so I have no clue what I'm doing there. And then sumo duds. I, I haven't pulled sumo in six months. So, I don't know if my sumo is going to be the same strength as my conventional. Maybe stronger. Maybe I'm way weaker. Like, I don't know. Um... So until I'm in the gym and actually lifting, I won't really know, which is kind of interesting for me because I normally have all my numbers kind of preset, and it's just if my RP is not moving like that, then I'll change it. But, like, I have an idea of what numbers I want to hit. Um, and today I don't really have that. It's really just all RP-based. So I'm going to have to watch the videos. I take really close to see how the stuff moves. That's my last warm-ups, I mean. And we'll just we'll see how everything goes. I mean, I want my tempos. It's more important to me today to make sure my, like, it's a secondary day, so it's my third, it's my tertiary event, my secondary squat, secondary dead. So it's it's way more important to me today that my form is perfect on everything, and that everything is, like, a good, like, my tempo is what he wants, my pauses on Larson are good, my sumo, my sumo is my sumo, but, like, everything should be good. Like, my pauses need to be really good on squat, my tempo needs to be really good on squat, my pauses on Larson need to be really good, like... I just want it to be, like, a very form-focused, like, you know, I just want it to be a very form-focused day. Like, I don't really care about weight so much. It's just more about walking in. That's what secondary days are for. So, weight might be light today. We'll see. Uh, the other hand, I might push a sumo a little just because I want to see how it feels. But I have weeks to push, and I don't want to go super heavy to fatigue myself for no reason. So, the only other thing I want to talk about is I only have two leg days now. I'm just realizing now, and I was talking about it on day one. Because this is obviously day day uh, four for me. Um, wait, is it day four? Yeah, it's day four for me. So, I used to have five leg days a week in my other program. Which was really bad. Like, really bad. Like, I would have... I had a squat and bench on Monday. Then I had deadlifts and bench. Then I had squat and bench again. Then I had a rest day. Sorry. I had a rest day. Then I had squat and bench again. Then I had deadlifts. And then I had squat and bench again. The point is, no matter what I did, I had some type of leg movement, whether it was deadlifts, squatting, or accessories with deadlifts and squatting. Now, it's way different. Now, I, I squat on Friday with all my leg accessories. Saturday, I do deadlifts, and then I have uh, just some upper body accessories. Then I have off. Then, like yesterday, is just straight bench and back, so back and chest day. Today is going to be SPD with my leg accessories. And then tomorrow is another bench day and just upper body accessories. So, like, I I only have two leg days now, like, officially two. Like, two, like, whenever I squat, I have a leg day. And it's only two times a week, which I think is going to be a lot better because that means I can push way harder and recover way better. I really couldn't, like, how can you can't have five leg days a week and push? It doesn't work. So... We'll see. Hopefully this goes better for me. About 20 minutes away, so uh, I'm going to drink my pre uh, when I'm a little closer to getting there. But uh, yeah, I will see you guys in the gym. All right, this should be the last warm-up. I have a 3-0-0 zero, zero tempo, actually. I thought it was 2. 
but it's a three second tempo. No pause. So, as long as this is a three second tempo and moves well, this should be the last warm up. And uh, put the sleeves on for the first time now. Like, this is my first warm up with the sleeves on. Um, so, we'll see how everything moves. The only thing that's different is that these racks are bolted to the ground. So I can't do my thing where I like lean up against the rack to get the bar on my back, but aside from that, it's a lot better than my other gym. So let's get it. <clears throat> Alright, let's watch the video. See how that shit moved and see what the tops it will be. Alright, had a 10 kilos, made it two reds. I should move at a six. So I think we're good. That moved really well. Thought easy. Move really good. Let's make this shit move the same. Come on. All right, let's go. Felt good. Let's see what it looked like. Alright, so for the purposes of making my life easy, uh, I'm just going to keep the same weight. I'm supposed to do three pause squats at six. I did 125 for four at like seven. This is 120, so I'm just going to hope I don't push it too much because I don't want to get yelled at, but I just don't want to change the weight, and I think I can do this pretty easily. So I just need to make the pauses really good. Um, but yeah, we got three. So, let's make these motherfuckers move. Alright, come on. Oh, my fucking wrist strap is not even on. Alright, let's go. Alright, I think that was actually a good RP. I just don't know if the pauses were good. Alright, they didn't actually move bad. Um, moved at a 6, which is good. Only problem is that my pauses were really shit, in my opinion. I didn't like, I was not happy with my pauses. So, I'm going to lock in on pauses here. Uh, this is 7.5 on this, so 110 kilo. Um, yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to really lock in on pauses. Like, I'm going to pause like 2 seconds, because clearly I'm not pausing long enough. So, let's lock in. we got 3 by 3 with the back downs. Let's go.
I felt better. The pauses hopefully were better. Alright, somehow my pauses were still bad. I don't know why. I just like, they feel so long in my head. I'm gonna, um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna literally count to two out loud. No, I'm not. I'm not gonna count out loud because then I can't brace, but I'm gonna go on my head. I'm gonna count to three and then I'm gonna go up. I don't care if I pause for 10 years. I need to pause. Come on. If those pauses were bad, I'm, I'm giving up. I don't. I don't know what to do. That felt like forever. All right. Finally, my pauses didn't look absolutely awful. So we can do that again. This is the last set. I want to pause even longer than that, but we'll see. Come on. Last one. Then we got Larson. All I have is Larson for bench. Nothing else. So. Come on. Let's go. Some Larson. All right, again, I really have no clue what weight to do here for Larson, so we'll see. This is 77 and a half kilo. This will be my last warm up, so the first single, and then uh, we'll see how hard it is. But I don't know. I have a triple at five, so I don't want to push it, so I might just stay here. But unless it flies, if it flies, then I'll go up. We'll see. That was really easy, but I'm only gonna go up two and a half kilos just because I overshot my bench on uh, on Saturday. Even though I don't really think I did that much, but I was two and a half kilos under my all time PR in week one. Um, and it was supposed to be at six and a half. So it moved really well, like a seven in my opinion, but my coach thinks it moved like an eight. So I'm not gonna push this. There's no point. Plus, um, I have deads after, which is what I care about the most right now. So let's just do this. Easy three RP five and get the back downs and go to deads. That was easy. I sweat my eye. Oy. All right. So as expected, that was super, super, super light. Um, but it's fine. Um, I've been putting my feet closer to set up, and it feels really good. My arch seems like it's actually a lot better. So I'm using this angle. I want to see my how my uh, forearms look because I switched my grip back to you know wider. So we'll see. 
All right, I have two back downs at three. Two of three. Alright, I think I have one more or two more. Alright, I'm going like right away. Like basically no rest, but it's really easy. And I want to get the deads without wasting so much time, so. So I'm putting my feet back here now. I don't like it. Like all the way back here. Try to just dig them in. Two more dead, baby. Come on. I'm ready. Alright, this is last warm-up. We'll see. It feels weird, but I haven't pulled someone forever, so I just as long as it moves, we're good. I put baby powder on because it was hurting my leg. I'm gonna like line up like this. The outside of my shin. I think. Yeah, I think that's that's good. Alright. Like I said, quads really pushed out. Hips high. Alright. Not bad, not bad, not bad. Alright. We're going to keep it the uh, same weight because that didn't move as well as I wanted to do. And it's supposed to be three. So, And he said I can undershoot the first one. So, All right. Come on. High hips, high hips. There we go. Come on. All right. That was actually easy. All right, that moved easy, so this should be at six, three. Come on, let's go. I think I put my hands a little wider, felt better, so. Not bad. It feels weird. All right, this is our last two. We got a two by three back down. So let's get it. All right, come on. Let's make this move.
All right, one more. That felt good. All right, last set of a compound movement for the day. And I have belt squat. That last set felt really good, so let's do that again. I think I'm just getting more comfortable with it, but the foot placement is probably best right here. So that's what I'm going to do it. done with this. Let's get it. That is not easy. Um, Alright, I'm going to upload a little, not much. Alright, I added 25s, and the bar is not messed up this time. You can actually just put it on like you're supposed to, so... Oh, Alright, there we go. Alright, let's get it. Considering what I've already done today, that's not bad at all. Oh, getting shit off is interesting. All right, what we got? I think leg curl and something else. I'm dead. All right, we got three, 10 to 12. I like to go really slow, like you guys know. So let's see how this goes. I haven't done these in forever. Oh, okay. I can do that again. That was 70. All right, cool. Almost no rest because I'm trying to get out of here and I'm exhausted. But I just want to get it done. Come on. Okay, one more set. There, last set, last set. Come on. 
I don't know what happened. I'm gonna be here. I gotta figure it out. We'll see. There's no app machine, so. I'm being honest, I don't know what to do, so I'm just gonna do this, and I don't know how to go two sets to failure. I guess this shit's hard as fuck. So, that's it. Oh my god. That's easy and you fucking do it. That's not easy. Do two more. One more. Alright, come on. At least ten here. I was doing it right, so. Fucking burn, bro. Alright, just gonna put your arms as flat, your back straight, and as far as you can. Let's go. calves but fuck calves i'll do them my next leg day i'm done all right w workout for real that was actually a sick workout for me i like that spd is fun i mean it took forever like it actually didn't okay so it's like weird because yes it took forever but no it didn't like it took two hours but like for me that's like easily my normal workout if not a little bit shorter than my normal workout and it was spd with accessories so like i'm really not going to complain about how much time it took because it, it really didn't take that much time um i am exhausted which is not a bad thing because that means i actually did work and it was rp5 everything so i uh, like rp5 and six so i imagine the last week of this block which is going to be in two weeks when everything's rp6 and seven i'll probably be dead like i'll be exact like absolutely exhausted but Either way, really good workout. Um, we can just go in order of lifts. So first of all, we'll talk about the tempo squat. Um, I've never done a tempo without a pause, and it was a 3-0-0. I think my tempo was actually pretty good today. I counted. I was trying to focus on my tempo a lot. I think it was pretty good. Uh, I did two reds, which I will happily take, I believe. Don't quote me on this. It's about 265 pounds, um, which I will take. And then for the pause squat back down, I also did 265 because I didn't want to change the weight on the bar. Um, and it was still RP6, uh, so actually I'll take that. My pauses were eh, iffy. Um, I'm sure my coach is going to yell at me for that. 
But my back downs, I made sure to pause. My first back down was iffy. My second was iffy, a little bit better. My third one was fucking good. Like nobody's complaining about my third one. That is how you should be doing pauses. So I just got to get better at um, the pauses on my top sets because, like, I guess I just get nervous with the weight and I'm like not used to it yet. But everything felt really good. Um, pause, squat wise, it was a lot of volume on squats. So it's a top set for me. It was two. So it was a top set of tempo, a single. And then it was a top set of three paused, and then it was three back downs of three paused. So for me, it's a lot of volume, which makes sense because, like I said in the first video, and I think I said earlier today, I only squat two times a week now. So we had up the, we had wanted to keep the volume relatively the same and only squat two times a week. So that means when I squat, I squat a lot more, which is not bad because that means my legs get to fatigue, and then my legs get to fully recover before I have to use them again, which is really good. Um, so I like that a lot. Let me talk about Larson. Uh, Larson, I undershot a lot, but it, like I said in, in the video, I don't really care because I overshot my bench, and I just wanted to, like, I'm not that comfortable with Larson yet, and I've never had a top set of three. So, like, everything after this week is obviously going to be easier because I can just base it off of this week. Like, in my opinion, my top set of Larson, I got to watch it again, but it felt like a four or a five. Like, it was pretty light. Uh, or sorry, it felt like a four, like a three or a four, and it's supposed to be at five. So, um, I think I will probably up it by about... 10 kilos next week which is a big jump but i believe it's at six next week so we'll see how the warm-ups go but i think i'll probably jump about 10 kilos the pause squats just to make my pauses better i'll probably go up maybe five kilos maybe not even that's a lot um and then tempo the same i'll probably try to keep this the same just because it's a lot easier for me and i think they're pretty similar weight wise for me um and now we can talk about deads so i don't really know what to think um even though that sounds very weird i, I don't know what to think Tubby, like, it, it felt really, really shitty until, like, my first back down. Like, it was, like, scraping my thigh. That's why, like, it was scraping, like, my inner thigh, um, which is why I widened my grip a little bit from the from the first, like, warm-ups you saw. And then um, that's why I put baby powder on because it was, like, scraping me. So I'm like, maybe this will help. And it did a little bit. And then I just widened my grip, and it felt a lot better. Um, but, like, top set, it still felt iffy. Like, obviously, I've, I haven't done sumo in over, th I believe, four or five months now. Because I didn't do it the whole entire time I was on the Jeff Nipper program the second time I ran it after I got injured or my car accident. So that was, like, that video that I posted was probably the last time I did sumo. I believe that was around six months ago. So I haven't pulled sumo in six months, and the most I ever pulled in sumo was 315. Obviously, you guys saw that. It was 315 for three, I believe, that day, which was terrible. If you compare that sumo form to my sumo form now, my sumo form now is 100 times better, and I haven't done it in six months and it's a hundred times better now that's just how like it works i guess you get better at just powerlifting in general but it felt really weird and it felt if you wish i knew what was going to because it's just like a very awkward stance and movement in general deads are like obviously weird anyway but i think by my first back like i think my my top set my first top set i undershot a lot which is good because as i was doing it it felt a little heavy and then once i was done and i did the last rep and then i watched the video i was like okay this is probably rp for maybe rp four and a half and it's supposed to be at five and my coach is like if you undershoot the first one it's totally fine so i'm fine with that and then my top set i think i overshot a little bit because i went up 10 kilo but it's probably six and a half seven it was supposed to be at six it's not really a big deal and then my first back like my back downs all my back downs were heavier than my last warm-up and only two and a half kilos off that top set of three my first top set and i think they all moved way way better i just like learned like i just squeezed my ass to lock instead of leaning back like i was doing over for no reason and it felt a lot better. The slack pull was a little iffy, and my top set I had to like reset between reps, which I don't love either. I don't know why that was like that, but it's just a weird movement for me. I was actually like spinning because that's the only problem with pulling mixed. Um, you saw I got I scraped my thigh, my hand got stuck on my thigh, and then I was like spinning with the bar. That's the only reason I'd start pulling hook if I pull sumo. I'm sure I'll have a talk with the coach about that. If he thinks my sumo is worth trying out and better than my conventional, then I'll start pulling hook. And obviously that's an adjustment period, and it like destroys your fingers, but. Once you get it down, you're consistent. And you can pull hook conventional if you wanted to, which I think is kind of stupid. But the only reason it might be better is because you can you can tuck your lats a lot better. And in my opinion, that means you pull slack a lot better, which just feels better in general, in my opinion. Um, but I've never pulled hook. So I can't say for real. Like, I can't say I feel that for real. But I know from other kids and from how my overhand is, I think it would be a lot better for me. The only problem is the adjustment period hurts. And on conventional, it's not really necessary. So if my coach thinks sumo is a good idea or we keep doing sumo like after comp, even if I'm not switching to it, I keep it as my secondary, 
then I'll probably start playing hook. I will talk to them about it. We'll see. Other than that, um, belt squats felt pretty good. The person, like my first set was, I cut like half of it because I cut like half the clip. You guys didn't even see. The person that was on it last, I guess, didn't rack it. And I didn't know that because I never used a belt squat. So like, as I'm trying to do it, I'm like, why am I hitting the bottom? And I realized it wasn't racked at the top. So getting the belt on was like a task. And then I finally got it on. You guys saw, and it was fine. I did like 135 there. It was really light. I mean, it, it wasn't, it felt good, but it was really light. My lower back was kind of killing me from the dead still. I had a lower back pump for sure, which I don't love, but I mean, you're supposed to get them, but obviously it fucking sucks. Lower back pump sucks. Um, but I, so I like rest for a little bit. Then I put fifties on. So I was doing 185. If I count the belts, got us 45 pounds. And uh, that felt really good. I can definitely go up next time I do it. I've never done that before. So a little interesting line leg curls always feel good. Good stretch on my hamstrings. And then abs are weird because they don't have an ab machine. So I just did that roller thing. I don't know how much it really like, why are we honking? I don't know how much it really targets the abs itself. Um, like I didn't get like a crazy like cramp or anything, but like in general, I was, I felt something. I just like, I don't know if that makes sense. Like I didn't get cramps or anything, which I usually do when I do abs, but like I felt something and there's not much else I can do there. Maybe I can do crunches. I was going to try to do something on like the, uh, the glute ham raise machine, but I was not comfortable like leaning all the way back and doing all that stuff. So I might find another app thing to do. We'll see. Um, calves I'm technically supposed to do. Like I wanted to, I asked my coaches to give me calves in my program because I like doing calves at least once a week. And he said I can do it before I start squatting today, but I didn't do that. And I want to do it my other leg day, but last time I did it, I was going to do my other leg day, but I was too sore from my last time I did calves. Um, cause I like trained to failure and it was like three days before and it was like crazy. Like I was burning still whenever I walked. So I didn't do calves, but from now on, I will do calves on my Friday leg day, like my squat day. I'll do calves then. Um, and then maybe if my calves aren't sore, then today as well. Because I like doing calves at least twice a week, like biceps kind of, just because like they're not powerlifting necessary at all. But I feel like it helps me like get depth just because they don't get really tight when I do them. And my calves are shrinking and I don't want my calves to shrink because I actually have good calves. That's like genetically what I'm uh, kind of gifted with luckily. So super solid workout. I'm still about 15 minutes away from home. Which, I'm 26 minutes away from home. 15 miles, which kind of sucks for me. It's a long drive. So uh, the post-workout meal and the pre-workout meal are very separated. Um, but I can't really do much about that unless I brought food with me or got food on the way back. But I have food at home, so I don't want to do that. Uh, solid workout, though. I'm happy. I'm, I'm going to be excited for Tuesdays. Tuesdays are going to be fun. Like This is this is fun. Um, really fun day. We'll see. Um, let me know in the comments if you guys think it's a switch to sumo. Obviously, my form will get better, and my coach will tweak, tweak stuff. But it really didn't feel bad at all. Um and it was pretty close to what my conventional lifts were, I'd say, for three at, like, five. Because that's, like, pretty much, like, I was supposed to, I was doing, if I can have, if I can do four or five, I was supposed to do 140 kilos. And I was like, there's no way. Because I did 140 for my single on conventional uh, on Saturday. And it was like, I mean, it was like RP four or three, but it's supposed to be RP five. I was like, I'm not going to do that. That's so stupid. And then my last one was heavy. So I, uh, I think I can probably pull... 50 pounds less sumo right now we'll see if it feels like it did in the, the last uh the, the back downs then i might be stronger in sumo you never know until you try i guess you won't know that's the whole point of us doing it so solid workout and uh yeah i'll probably won't film i'm not gonna film tomorrow uh just because i don't want to film two days in a row i have my other video that i edited going up to one's going up today one's going up in two days and then I'll edit this and hopefully get it up again in another two days. So this should be uploaded in like four days. I will probably film my uh, deads and bench also at this gym as my next video, which will be uh, Saturday for me. So probably get posted Sunday or Monday. We'll see. I'd like to film three times next week. Or no, I'd like to film my, my uh, day two and my day five next week. And then the week after that, hopefully just cover every day. The only day left will be three, which I haven't filmed yet, which is fine. I can do that pretty easily. So, yeah, good uh, good video, good lift. Didn't pose or anything, but I'll just get a thumbnail somehow from probably me deadlifting or something. I don't know. We'll see. But solid. I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.